Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are joining me. This is Lala from my Wild and Crazy Golden Ears. And uh, today's topic is going to start with skincare. I made a few changes, how to prep our face and to match our foundation. All right, let's do it. Okay, before we get to our foundation and primer and all that lovely stuff, I want to reiterate the morning routine. I wash my face still. I haven't changed this. The Vanna Cream um, Gentle Face Wash. Then I take my Vitamin C Timeless. This is 20%. Still liking this. I'm trying to get it out of the way so you can see it. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm not sure if it's in focus. We'll find out. And I put a couple pumps, pat that on my face. And while that's kind of setting up, I've, tr I've got this new thing I'm trying. It seems to be the trend now, are these eye de-puffer, de-wrinkler things. Stuff. This is by Maley's. Wow it. You see it? This is the one I have and I'm trying for now. While your eyes are clean underneath, you put in a little dab and I kind of pat it, get a little warm, and then I dab it around my eyes. And I make sure it gets all the way in into the places I want it, where my uh, puffy bags are and where my wrinkles are. And then you're not supposed to make any uh, movement with your face. <laughs> and I'm doing my skin, so that's always fun. Uh, after that, I will take my hyaluronic acid. And this is really not an acid by the ordinary. And uh, that's why it's kind of deceiving. I don't know why they have the word acid on there. It's just hyaluronic oil. I put it on my hands and then I pat that on my face to stay away from my eyes and around my nose, just like I did with the vitamin C. Go down my neck. It doesn't bother my neck, so I can do all of that. This stuff is, is really important. So while that's doing its little thing, I will take my e.l.f. Holy Hydration, still using this one, uh, my cream, and I put that on my face. The last thing I'll do is I will put on, and this is Il Mickey Lages. It is their uh, firming cream. And it is a firming and prompt and also a primer. It's very, I love the feel of it. I've yet to find one that feels this good. So I'll put that on my neck and on the places where I want to pump up a little bit. And then I've got my primer on and I'm, I'm ready to go. I have my face primer on. Now I'm going to put my eye primer on. And this is by NYX. It's um, liner and uh, eyelid primer. And it's very light. See, this goes very light on. And I will put that on my eyelids. I already did that for the sake of this video because I like that to dry. I, have, I do not want it tacky when I try to put my eyeshadow on. So now that we've done that, we're letting it set up, then I am going to get my makeup. Today I'm going to try Lori Mercier. And, Laura Mercier, excuse me. It's a real flawless, weightless, perfecting foundation. It's in the color 3N1 Buff. Now, this might be a little orange. Now see, as, as I've told you before, I think I have, I match my neck as best I can. Not my neck, my decolletage. And I, I wear sunscreen, but somehow it does get darker than the, probably because I'm using Trentinoin and all my acids on my face and neck and not down here. That's why there's a little discrepancy. So I've got a little darker of this Lori Mercier and I already have my Immiquilage which you can't buy in the stores. This is a New York based product and I love it. It's been a lot of fun, <clears throat> excuse me, trying all the different kinds. And this one is in 60. So I've been mixing them. So you gotta shake, 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 shake. And I'm gonna do a brush application today. Usually I do a wet sponge, but I'm gonna try this. So I'll put a squirt of that. I see it's a little bit dark like that. Then I'll take my 60 and I'll put a squirt over that. And then I mix them in my palette, like so. And now we're going to try it. See if I can get a lovely, lovely oh, I've got that mirror, so it's so far away. I have my Il Mikila brush, Il Mikila, Il Imikilage, I'm saying it all wrong, brush. Um, I don't know, it doesn't have a number, but it comes free when you get these this product. So I'm gonna go out here. And then I'm gonna do a little more. Another squirt. Because less is more 
We want to build it, baby. If you build it, your face will come. All right. So I'm just going to get this all over. And I put it on my eyes, too, as, even with the primer. It just helps blend everything together so you don't have any white spots showing through. Be back in a sec when it's all on. I bring my makeup down over my, te my teeth, <laughs> over my lips. It helps, you know, keeping it, it helps when you put your uh, lip liner on and your lipstick to set and stay in place. So I think I've got, you have to be careful where I've placed that Maylie's um, Wow It to keep. You're not supposed to put anything on top of them. That's what they say, but Maylie's actually said if you let it dry really good and it's probably 20 minutes 30 minutes before i do anything else and i've still had luck with it um keeping my wrinkles at bay okay so to get back a little i hope that it looks like it's uniform it's always hard to tell and they look kind of flat when you have your makeup on it looks flat because you haven't got any of the other stuff on yet which we're going to do in just a second. Okie dokie, artichokey. Now we've got our foundation on. I went ahead and added um, my the rest of my makeup because foundation can leave you flat until you get the contouring and all that other pretty stuff. Now I'm more pale in the, sun, in the winter and a little more uh, colorful in the summer. Even though I wear a lot of sunscreen, you need to reapply. So you need to just find your holy grail of foundation. And remember, do not take life too seriously. You're never going to get out of it alive. See you next week.